welcome back. So, today uh, uh, we will uh, briefly discuss about uh, the uh, landforms which are formed due to aeolian activity uh, that is wind action and mostly this type of uh, features or the landforms you will come across <coughs> wherever you are having very string, strong winds blowing and then loose sands are available. So, you may see this mostly we whenever we talk about the aeolian landforms it comes to our mind that we will see this in desert or we will come across such landforms in desert areas. Okay. But you can see such features even along the coastal regions as well as along some wide banks of the, uh, the uh, rivers or along the in the floodplain areas also. But uh, the concentration uh, of such landforms will be more in the desert areas. Okay. Now, these are few uh, shapes or the, the forms of the uh, aeolian landforms uh, which are commonly observed. So, like Barkhan dunes, transverse dunes you are having and then you are having like star dunes, parabolic dunes and linear dunes. Okay. So, this all landforms as I told are the product of the wind action. Okay. Now, as I told that this landforms can be seen or observed in the desert or on the on the side of the, uh, the river valley also okay, on the flood plain areas and everything depends on the wind action. Okay. So, for example, what has been shown here, uh, this is in your wind direction. So, you are having a very gentle slope here and then getting steeper. Okay. So, this is an windward direction and this is the end which is we are having the steeper part and this is your the leeward, huh? leeward portion. Okay. So, everything depends on the on the wind action. So, if you are having for example, the wind action coming from three sides or more than that, then you will come across the formation of the star dunes. So, this is another example of uh, the same okay. and this part we will discuss uh, in greater detail when uh, the labs have been conducted. So, after this we are going, we will get into the, uh, the labs where you will be uh, looking at uh, the photographs and you will try to extract the information which are required for the, uh, the terrain evaluation. So, this is typical of the star dunes where you are having the direction of the wind from more than one side. Okay. Now, we will see uh, some examples of uh, this on the satellite photographs and I have tried my best to get some photographs uh, corona satellite photographs from our Rajasthan area or we can say uh, the border area between uh, the India and Pakistan we are having with some good photographs we will talk more in detail. Okay. So, this is what we, I was showing that this is a steep face here and then you are having the slip face of uh, uh, the, the sediments coming in okay, which will give rise to different shape of, uh, of dunes. Okay. So, either they are longitudinal or transverse dunes, then you are having the parabolic or sometimes complex and complex dunes are mostly we can see uh, in terms of the star dunes and all that and the crescent shape dunes also. So, these are the examples some some photographs, ground photographs of your Barkhan dunes where you are having the windward side and then steeper side you are having the, the leeward slope or the leeward side. Okay. And this is typical of, of the star dunes where you are having the direction of the wind is from a different side. Okay. So, multi directional uh, wind okay. and slightly variable winds if you have then you will come across like a sheaf shape uh, elongated longitudinal dunes which have been shown here. Okay. This is how typically you look like uh, like an uh, uh, dune field in desert. And this is a round photograph of uh, uh, the Barkhan dunes 
again longitudinal and very much similar to the ripple marks actually this one. And this is again example of the longitudinal or elongated dune field, the ground photograph of that. Okay. This is an aerial uh, uh, photograph showing the, uh, the ground conditions. Okay. Similarly, this okay. so sort of a complex dune here and it demarcates the boundary between the two different environments here if you see this side and this side is a clear cut boundary. This is an example of again the longitudinal dunes we are having or linear elongated and some erosional features over here. So, wind can erode also okay. and you will you can see some uh, very typical landforms which you can also come across uh, through the water action also. But this is typical of the wind action. So, wind can erode even the, the hard rocks. Okay. This again in Barkhans very key, clearly you can mark it, it is longitudinal dunes, similar photographs here also. So, this we will cover in detail when we are talking about in the, in the labs. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let me go back and try to spend some time on the, the photographs which we have from Rajasthan main. Now, if you carefully uh, look at this uh, image, you see uh, in your left okay, this whitish tone feature, uh, this is your uh, stream which flows at the, the contact of the desert and uh, the alluvial plain areas. So, this, this one, this photograph is uh, demarcating this is in boundary between the desert and the alluvial plain okay. and this is from Rajasthan and this also marks the contact uh, between the two different geomorphic uh, areas or the zones and this contact is also representing the fault contact and this is known as Nagar Parker Lunisukri lineament or fault. More clear photograph here, now if you enlarge it and then you can be able to, you will be able to make out clearly that this side you are having an fluvial system where you are having all tightly meander system or, or the channels you are having you can see this and some you may be able to see that they are the channels or the left out streams okay, which are not connected to the present day one. But this boundary is a very clear boundary and in I have I have seen this in the field okay. So, if you go from this side to this side you will see that then very sharp boundary between the dune field and the uh, the active flood plain here. Further close up if you see you can be able to easily make out the the, the features okay. over here in you are having a very typical longitudinal dunes. Okay. We have few more which will help you in identifying such terrains. Okay. Now, as we were I was showing one photograph uh, in in the presentation, this you can easily make out. This is a typical of the linear dunes or longitudinal elongated dune field and contact between the and the alluvial plain and the desert. So all this linear feature is nothing but the the topography which has been created because of the aeolian activity or the wind action file is bit heavy, but you will be able to demarcate the landforms very easily. So, this is an another example of uh, uh, the longitudinal dunes, which you can clearly pick up from the high resolution satellite photo. And these are all from Thar desert. Now, this is a, a Google earth image and the previous uh, uh, photographs, which I was showing were of corona satellite photos, high resolution and they were from this area actually. Okay. But even if you 
take this image from Google Earth and try to look at it, you will be able to easily demarcate the boundaries between uh, the different uh, geomorphic zones. Okay. So, for example, I will just explain this and then uh, uh, you will have uh, the labs where you will be looking at uh, some coastal landforms, identification, fluvial landforms and the aeolian also. And of course, uh, the other part which we talked about that how the uh, the subsurface lithology will be reflected in forms of the different uh, drainage pattern and all that okay and how we can identify those okay that we will do very quickly in the labs also now if you take this uh, of course there is a boundary which is also marking the international boundary here so this is a part of the gujarat and uh, the the boundary here which you can again pick up based on the tonal variation. So, this is the part which is occupied or is within Pakistan and of course, this is the boundary the yellow line which marks is the boundary between India and Pakistan. And this whole area which you see here is your Thar desert and we were looking at some photographs from the Indian side I was where from here with which we looked at the uh, the mostly the longitudinal dunes okay and the boundary or the contact which I was talking about was this one here it goes like that and this also marks the geomorphic boundary as well as this marks the the fault boundary okay uh, this is a Nagar Parker fault here so you have different uh, tonal variations over here and the coastal landforms which you will you can uh, easily make out from this area and then the aeolian and the fluvial over here. Okay. So, uh, I will uh, stop here and then, but, I, uh, uh, but at the end I would like to say that uh, uh, please do the labs very carefully because that is going to be an help or, or as the practice you do more, you will be able to understand the terrain in a better way. Okay. So, thank you so much.